Hi, I'm Ashikul Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome back to my channel. So here I upload couple of accounting tutorials weekly. Today in this lesson, I will show you how to calculate asset test ratio, which is also called liquid ratio. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get into this lesson, let us have a look at the question on the screen. Anna has obtained the following data at 31st December 2016 in respect of Robbie, a possible new customer. Okay, so there are some items given in the question. What are the items? Trade receivables, cash and cash equivalent, inventory, trade payables, sales for the year, and annual inventory, and the markup 25%. Okay, so from this information, we will calculate our liquid ratio. Okay, but here in the question, you have so many items. These all items are not relevant. So you need to take all the relevant items to calculate this, to calculate this ratio. Okay, so here, what is the formula for this acid test ratio? You already know it is very simple, but still some of you make mistake okay so let us see here how to do it so we know acid test ratio equal to current assets current assets minus closing inventory okay closing inventory divided by current liabilities okay so here in my previous lesson from this question already i explained how to calculate current assets and current liabilities so today i'm not going to show how to calculate here current assets so uh, i'll request you to watch that video that will help you to know how to calculate current ratio okay so i'll link to this video here in the i button you can watch it even i'll put in the description box so you can watch it and get back to this lesson okay now what are our current assets here in the question so have a look at the question once again. So but here we have trade receivable, it is a current asset. We have a here cash and cash equivalent, it is a current asset. If it is not in debit, yeah, it is a current asset still. So inventory is there, it is a current asset. So have you noticed in the question, we have one more inventory in the last of the question. Inventory at 1st January 2016, which was $46,200. So there are two inventories in the question. So please do not take opening inventory, okay? You have to take only closing inventory when you calculate your current ratio, working capital or asset test ratio, okay? You need to take only closing and inventory. Even this closing inventory will be included in the balance sheet, okay? And opening inventory will go in the income statement, okay? When you calculate gross profit, okay? So here we will not take opening inventory, we will take only closing inventory. So, in my previous lesson, I showed you that the current asset of the question was 63,580 dollars, okay? And from this value, we need to subtract the closing inventory. Here we have the value, closing inventory, 38,100 dollars, okay? So in the question, we have only one current liability. What is this? It is trade payables, yeah? So the value is here, 28,760 dollars. Okay, now let us subtract this value, 38,100 dollars from this total current asset. So what do you get? It is 25,480 dollars, yeah? So here we have current liability, which is 28,760. Okay, so now we have to divide this current assets by this current liability. Okay, so what we get here? 
double eight five is two one okay so we can round it up to zero point eight nine is two one okay it is very simple but you have to know what items will be included to calculate this liquid ratio okay so i'll show you next time some more practical questions so you can understand you can practice more to prepare yourself for your accounting exam or test okay so this is all about your today's lesson i hope you enjoyed and you understood how to calculate this asset test ratio please consider subscribing to my channel because over there over there you will find so many accounting tutorials which will help you to prepare okay and if you think that this video is helpful for you please share with your friends and please let me know comment below what you want to see in my next video that is all i'll see you soon with new video until then bye bye and take care